Well, a powerful storm has made landfall in the Philippines. Typhoon Camry is whipping up the waves and bringing torrential rains, winds topping 150 kilometers per hour. It is now heading towards the capital, Manila. This typhoon has knocked out power in a number of provinces. More than 200,000 people have been forced to flee to safety. Manila's International Airport has suspended its operations, and organizers of the Southeast Asian Games have had to cancel events there. Let's get the very latest from the Philippines now. Let's bring in DW's Anna Santos joining us from Manila. Good day to you, Anna. Can you tell mm -hmm. us what's happening where you are? I'm here at the Philippine Weather Bureau, where officials have confirmed that Typhoon Kamari has made landfall a fourth time. And where I'm at in Manila, we're already starting to feel the rains picking up. And weather officials told us that we should expect heavy, consistent rain throughout the evening. Storm surge warnings remain up, and also flooding is a flashpoint or a, a major watch point for residents of Manila and surrounding communities, surrounding provinces. Um, we have to t I have to tell you that for many people here in Manila, they're so anxious about flooding. Many still remember the years before where we had our worst flood and waters reached up to the rooftops. So many residents will be holding their breath until tomorrow when Typhoon Kamari is expected to exit out and dump its rains out into the West Philippine Sea. Okay, now uh, authorities are evacuating uh, thousands of people. It's very difficult, of course, in remote areas. How's that proceeding uh, mm -hmm. in those remote areas? We're getting some images um, of the cleanup exercises to get the roads cleared to hit the communities that are outside of Manila. Well, there were um, preemptive evacuations since yesterday. Local government officials were literally like foot soldiers going door to door, knocking on people's houses and begging them, pleading them with them and reasoning with them to move out of their house and into an evacuation center where they could be safe. So that part um, where there's a lot of people that were already moved to evacuation centers. Now the challenge now is to see what happens to those who were left behind or who refuse to leave. As you said, there are still some roads that are blocked because of fallen debris and fallen trees. And once those are blocked, we'll have better access to those areas and officials will be able to give us a better update on the status of the damage and any of the residents that were left there or those who didn't want to evacuate. Okay, and it's not just residents who are affected. We have thousands of tourists coming in for the Southeast Asian Games as well. We understand a number of events uh, have been canceled. Those events that are happening outdoors, like canoeing, windsurfing, skateboarding, and the polo match, have all been rescheduled. But um, the Philippine officials of the Sea Games said that uh, the, the games will not be uh, extended beyond of December 11. Ana Santos for us from Manila with that. Thanks very much, Anna.